549, want to get a check of that pinpoint weather and traffic together now. We check in with Michelle for a look at our Thursday forecast. Looking a lot better today than yesterday, Michelle. Yes, quiet conditions today. Rain free expected from the morning right through the nighttime hours tonight. Uh, no surprise we had some flash flooding when you look at some of these rainfall totals from yesterday. Fall River at almost five and a quarter inches of rain in parts of the city. A cushion it with more than four inches in Bristol, Rhode Island, where we had some significant flash flooding as well. More than three and a half inches of rain fell and about three inches in both the Providence and Cranston area. So we've had a a lot of rain in a short amount of time yesterday. We're drying things out so those smaller stream and river water levels will continue to recede today. Uh, no showers or thunderstorms for this morning. In fact, as we look at CityCam, nice to wake up here to clearing skies. The temperatures this morning are in the middle 60s. One of the changes today is that it's not going to be quite as sticky as it was yesterday. We had that ultra high humidity. And now the dew point temperature has dropped about 10 degrees, which is going to make it feel more comfortable outside, uh, even though it is still going to be a little on the muggy side. Visibilities. Well, they're fine still across Rhode Island. We just saw city cam, no fog there, but we do have visibilities around a mile or lower Taunton, Plymouth, and New Bedford, where we have patchy fog, and that should thin out through the morning hours. We're down to 59 in Taunton, 61 New Bedford, about 63 in Smithfield right now, and 66 for your temperature in Westerly. So the satellite and the radar showing one cold front moving out to sea. That's the one that brought all the flash flooding, that tropical moisture that was left over from Isaac. Another weaker front trying to move our way from the west. There's a couple of showers that will be possible across uh, northern and far western New England, but for our area, I am forecasting a dry day today. Still seeing those lightning uh, strikes over the water well south and east of us, far away from land, so things have quieted down here, and that's what I'm expecting for the bus stop this morning. Patchy early morning fog, then partly sunny, about 65 to 70 for your temperatures this morning. By the time the kids head off the bus, and this is between 2 and 3.30 this afternoon, looking warm and dry 77 to 81 for your temperatures and I have us right around 80 to 81 downtown and on the east side winds from the south at about 5 to 10 miles an hour today as we look down the bay 80 in Barrington about 82 for Garden City the coast should be in the mid to upper 70s I have Newport at about 76 77 in Charlestown closer to 80 to 81 as you travel inland northern suburbs nice day mix of sun and clouds just dry and warm close to 80 degrees up there and the temps should be in the upper 70s to low 80s in southeastern mass dry and fall river today about 80 degrees 77 over in Middletown now visibility is going to be pouring any morning fog on Narragansett Bay otherwise unrestricted northeast winds turning to the south at 5 to 10 knots. The wave height in the upper reaches of the bay, 1 to 2 feet, but as you approach the bay entrance, uh, the wave height could build as high as 3 to 7 feet. We are seeing some of the swells from Leslie. 1221 this afternoon is your high tide. There's a moderate risk of rip currents at the shore. The uh, high surf advisory is actually dropped for today for the coastline, but watch for rip currents today in local waters. About 75 for your air temperature at the beach, water temperature close to 70. So the National Hurricane Center made some adjustments this morning on the track of Leslie shifting it further out to sea and actually fairly far east of Bermuda with the latest track. It is still expected to strengthen to a Category 2 hurricane, but it's even further away from the U.S. coastline as it makes its closest pass early next week. So again, still some swells from this storm. It's a Category 1 right now with 75 mile an hour sustained winds and gusts to 92. So it does look like the only impact from Leslie will be the swells. As we head into the weekend, we've got a cold front coming through. It'll bring the chance of showers by Saturday evening and night into the first part of the day on Sunday.